May I introduce you to the Scarlet, a beautiful tennis racket from Yonex Vcore 95 2023? It's her name, Scarlet. It's her code name. It's the name for the color. And on the right side, may I introduce you to her older sister, the Tango Red, Vcore 95 2021. And in today's comparison video, I will be comparing these two beautiful players sticks that are just fantastic. These spin machines. So guys, stay tuned. You know, it, it's good for the sport, like that rivalry. Like I'm Nick Kyrgios and I'm a rival to Rafa Nadal. How? Like, how is that possible? Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So this is another tennis racket comparison and this will be one of the most interesting I ever, I've ever made because there is lots of things I want to talk about and I have access to some info that you might not know and maybe not many people are really talking about the changes that the new Scarlet has brought up to the table and they are let's say some people call them minor changes but there is so many of them lots of them that at the end of the day the new v core 95 2023 scarlet is the most spin friendly and the most spinning machine the spin monster machine that ever Yonex has released so this is the pinnacle of spin from Yonex so there was never ever before a record with this high spin uh, velocity the RPMs etc etc so guys check it out check it out because if you are into spin this Racket can really uh, improve your game in that sense. But let's start with the design. I need to say that the new design, I like the new design, the Scarlet design. I like it better because it is more deep. The colors, you can see the difference that when you, when you, look, when you look at the picture, the first racket that actually pops out from the picture is the Scarlet and then there is the Tango Red. The Tango Red looks a little bit pale to me. It's nice, it's nice, it's decent, but it's a little bit too pale. And the Scarlet is more, uh, it's, it, it's more plastic, it's more 3D, it's coming out and the, the colors are more deep and they are, you can, you can see the colors more and there is also uh, they are they are a little bit darker and the racket looks a little bit more serious okay and that can uh that can really uh improve the image of the racket from that design perspective so let me know in the comments if you like the new design or if you prefer the tango red from 2020 one so guys there have been changes small changes but with big impact and those changes there were lots of these changes no one is really talking about it in that sense i want to so we will start with the head size obviously so the head size both 95 head, head size 95 square inches so 630 square, 13 square centimeters. So nothing really changed there, but as you can see, there are changes to the shape of the head, but we will talk about it a little bit later. And before I finish the specs, I just want to uh, show you some sneak peek what's coming, what's coming because guys, I have like these these promo materials from Yonex, uh, probably they are not publicly available, but I have them. There are lots of stats and info about the technologies, how it works, what it brings to the table. And there is like, I don't know, there's like 10, I have like 10 A4 papers and it's not all of it. So there was a full catalog of this, of this crazy amount of 
changes and small tweaks and you really can't see them because you need uh, you need to really measure it on the record but they can really have a big impact so let's continue with the spec so the weight obviously 310 gram without strings so a pretty nice a heavier record but when you look at the balance is 310 millimeters so both records really greatly balanced to the hand for the very nice and easy maneuverability so don't get the head size the 95 inches fool you because we know that yonex with its isometric head shape these small head size records they actually play like 97 inch head size records or 98 uh, inch head size records with the standard oval head shape so it's a really nice playing players record that can almost any intermediate even intermediate player can use and can play so and then after the balance we jump to the swing weight and that's the tricky part especially when we look at the previous generation at the sixth generation of tango red i didn't mention that the scarlet the newest generation it is the seventh generation of v -Core. so according to tennis warehouse the new scarlet has swing weight of 321 with strings so that's not a really big deal it's a pretty nice uh, maneuverable racket that you can swing with without any problems for two, maybe three hours without any, any really issues if you are at least on the intermediate level, let's say. Now, the Tango Red, that's the tricky part. So guys, I have here, here three numbers, as you can see. So the first number is 323 from tennis warehouse what does it mean the number one is it's their first measurement their first attempt and the next number is just 316 and it is their second attempt and they made a correction and you can see that even now on the tennis warehouse us that they have there written 316 and there is a small note with red with red uh with red text that they made correction to the swing weight they measured the records once again and they found out they have lower swing weight than the 323 just 316 is this realistic is it real or why did they do this because when we look at the another number the 324 it is from another shop that is called tennis express and i sometimes go there just to revisit the numbers because all of these stores who have the machines to measure the swing weight and the ra they all have slightly different numbers but most of the time they are pretty pretty the same there is just maybe 1.2 points difference but in this case the eight point difference between tennis warehouse and the tennis express is actually huge you will definitely notice that and i'm asking myself what went wrong how did they did they change uh, anything when they measured the the, the the records did they received some some info from yonex that they have it wrong but what about the other company the tennis express shouldn't they then uh, have also a different info or the info from yonex to change the swing weight well that's the question so i'm not really sure which of these numbers is correct but i believe that according to the specs the tango red is rather on the 320 side than like 316 or maybe more a little bit more 321 322 because 316 is really a really low number for a 310 gram racket and even with this uh, hand heavy balance so once again tennis warehouse what's going on what's going on can you explain us that more in a more detailed way 
because uh, when you're buying such a high performance record, you just want to know what is correct, right? So that's that's weird, that's weird. So let's jump to the stiffness. At least here we have uh, one number we can look on. So the new Scarlet with 61 RA is definitely softer. Even the playtesters on Tennis Warehouse, they mentioned that it you will feel that, you will notice that the softer, plusher feel compared to the stiffer 64 RA of the previous Tango Red generation. So for my personal taste, I like stiffer records. I grew up on a pure drive and I don't mind if a record has like 70 RA, 71, 72 RA, not at all. But of course, when you get older, you probably prefer a more flexible frame just for the feel and edit comfort but uh actually 64 ra and 64 around 65 66 ra that's in the sweet spot right now for me so i don't really buy the the, the lower the lower stiffness for these types of records but as we know the control the more control oriented records they actually have a lower ra so this kind of makes sense they're lowering it too now the little 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 change to the beam width at the top of the hoop just a half millimeter edit but that uh according to to many people that really changed how the racket blows through how the racket feels it feels little bit heavier it feels that th there is just a tiny little bit more mass it also adds not only to the power of the racket but also to the overall stability it can help you when you surf then it can help you to finish the surf technique the serving technique the shot so i believe that's a good sign so i'm not sure what was the previous width of the beam on the top of the head for the 218 generation for the fifth generation but i think that it was also a little bit thicker up there and they changed it for the tango red they just experimented for the tango red they removed the half millimeter and now they're coming back to the thicker or or, or wider let's say beam at the top and i think it's a good it's a good thing for the more uh, power and the overall stability and overall, let's say, confidence of the shot. Now the string pattern 16 by 20. So it's both uh, for these records. Uh, the pattern is, this pattern is really good for, for the spin, but also for control because you have one extra edit uh, uh long long string the main string so uh there is more more of the string to control the shot to control the ball now uh, when you look there is something there is something a little bit uh, uh different from each of these records when you look at the paint the paint job so you can see the strings on the scarlet and also on the tango red when you look at the spacing between the strings you can see that exam for example at this position at this center or these are the two center uh, strings you can see that the scarlet has a bigger space between the strings and there is a smaller space you can definitely see that also the shape of the space is just a little bit different so uh, i believe the scarlet has actually a little bit more opened string pattern for more spin so yeah this is a spin machine the scarlet so don't mess up with scarlet if you don't like spin so yeah composition both of these records am uh, sorry hm graphite is the high modulus graphite with combination of the other technologies like the flex force uh, that we will talk about right now so guys there you have the 
specs. Now to the technologies, and that's that's everything. It is really connected. So the specs and the technologies they make a connection, and at the end of the day, they can make the biggest impact on the performance of the racket and on the field. So I divided the first part of the technologies. As you can see, they are both the same isometric head shape patented technology that really gives both of these rackets an extra sweet spot an extra comfort an extra space where you can hit the ball without compromising the stability so that is something that no other company can copy they can mimic it but they can't really make it the same so if you look for example at the head boom the head boom tried to let's say mimic the isometric head shape and now it looks like the scarlet is trying to little bit mimic the head boom because one of the biggest changes they made is in the upper hoop at the let's say 10 o'clock and at the two o'clock they widened the frame here but we will talk about it a little bit later now the 2g and amd flex force that's a special type of technology uh graphite that is inserted in the in this part of the throat and it goes just a little bit also there on the sides of the shaft and they make the racket more flexible and that gives the shots more power so yeah it's the same for the both of these rackets now the aero trench and aero fin technology now they they actually made made it as a one package or they call it the aerodynamic aerodynamic technology and both of these aero trends and aero fins are directly on the frame you can see that and it helps the racket to blow through the air just a little bit better there are these let's say grooves and different cuts in the frame that there the graphite is cut out and at the side of the throat here and the, the record is more maneuverable is more aerodynamic it goes through the air much better compared to the or much better let's say in a few percent better compared to the standard frames and there are also the the, the grommets uh, are also a uh, little bit uh let's say covered or protected by these trenches and fins so uh, as you can see I, I think it's on the upper bumper on the bumper there so it really goes through the air uh better and the grommets don't uh, actually block block uh, the air that is uh, is coming on the frame when you're swinging through the air uh, the liner tech once again is, is for the both rackets it is the same and it is the way how the holes for the grommets are drilled so they are drilled in a more direct way and the biggest impact is once again on the center strings on the main strings because usually uh even the the side main strings they are drilled in a way that the hole goes like this sideways like this i will i will show it on a, on a tennis racket so uh this is the last main string and the usual way how the manufacturer drills the hole for these main strings is like it goes like this so in in this fashion okay i hope you can see it so in this fashion so the string goes like this and then goes through the frame like this so there is this edge for the string but yonex does it in a way that it is cut in a, in a more linear way so actually it it really makes sense for the string and it does not apply that high stress on the string so the hole is not drilled like this but it's drilled in a direct way like this so not this but in a more direct way 
and it also goes like for the for the main strings and this gives the string bed uh, just a little bit more feel or so more comfort the string bed is a little bit more plusher it gives the string bed uh, it puts the stress a little bit away and it can also help with the with the overall tension maintenance so now the VDM, the vibrate, vibration dampening mesh for both of these rackets, it's in the handle. So it's a special layer of vibration dampening mesh that is applied on the, on the handle under the grip and under the structure. So it goes around the carbon fiber and it dampens the harsh vibration and i believe according to yonex there is a lot of lots of uh, uh dampening compared to the standard racket i believe they are even talking about about like 50 percent i will maybe post it in the post-production in the video when i found the info so so a lot of lots of dampening for these rackets and that's why i believe many players enjoy the yonex rackets overall with this technology uh, playing without a dampener without a dampener because they are so well dampened that you don't need a dampener after that so now sorry so now we are coming to the different technologies for both of these rackets and that's where the things start to get interesting so guys i hope you you are you finished or you came to the video right here right in this moment because that's where the magic for the new scarlet happens so i will sip from my coffee oh nice nice sweet medium roast i like that so if you want to support my channel you can become uh my coffee sponsor on the buy me coffee platform the link is below in the description i thank you very much so now i'm coming to this these loads of materials for the new uh technologies and man this is just insane i'm i'm always so surprised that uh they are really not talking about them too much they are just okay we made just slight differences to the frame here and there but if you see the numbers if you see what really changed if you see it in the in the detail fashion you are blown away because they really think they really think when they design new rackets it's not like there is just a little bit difference of the color and a little bit of difference of the head something like that they are thinking about absolutely everything and the yonex is actually maybe the 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 the, the, the only one company that is doing it in the most scientific way possible and that's why their rackets are so special so guys uh I will talk about the Tango Red now, about these three technologies, because it's, it's, it's much easier to go through these. So, the now non-metric XT, I don't have a clue what is it, because this is one of those technologies that I didn't find a description for. Maybe it's coming from the older, older days and older years, so I couldn't really find the nanometric XT anywhere. What is it? I believe it is it has something to do with the maybe with the overall uh or with some component of the carbon fiber construction but who knows who really knows i didn't i didn't find any info about that so if you find it just post it in the comment section it will really help me to understand what is it so the 3d vector shaft so it's the way how the shaft for the tango red was designed and they made bigger grooves on the frame when you look at the frame so this is the artango tr 960 control tour 16 by 19 it's not a yonex so they made uh big grooves in this part of the 
throat so it's not like in this case in this record that it's just it has uh, let's say an easy shape without any grooves but the yonex had grooves in the frame and these grooves they made the record more stable i believe there was like a 20 percent better stability compared to the 218 version to the fifth generation and then there were the string sync grommet or grommets uh, they were placed on the 12 o'clock and on the on the six o'clock and these these were interesting grommets so uh the grommets actually at this position were constructed from i believe two parts the first part was a very very thin grommet that went through a bigger grommet a bigger hole and this help the main strings to maintain the movement and to let the, the, the to, to to let the main strings move a little bit more so uh i would say there was there was an insert an inserted grommet in a bigger hole so there was a space for movement so yeah, it can be similar to the extreme, uh, extreme grommets for the head extreme racket. So bigger hole overall for a bigger movement for the main strings. And that leads to a bigger spin potential and more power. And now we are going to the Scarlet, finally the 2023 generation with these new technologies. And I think... I think I, when I look at the tag, I think I forgot to uh, mention another technology that was there, fourth technology. So maybe I just skipped uh, one technology. Sorry, I need to switch back on it. And yeah, now there it is. Now there it is, I believe. I added one technology. So. We will start with the silicon oil infused grommet or silicon infused grommets. Very interesting. I never ever heard of anything like this before. And once again, it is at the top of the head and at the uh, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So I will show you this, this picture from the materials. As you can see, I hope you can read it. Probably I will maybe show it even in a different way in the video and these grommets are infused with the silicon oil which has reduced the friction of the strings of about 20 minus 26.3 percent that's huge that's really huge so the strings can move more freely the main strings so it leads according to yonex and this comparison has been done with the previous generation of the racket. It leads to a rapid snapback at impact. And the new silicon oil infused within the grommet allows the racket to quickly flex and snap back into its original position. And the result is an improved spin. Wow. Has any anyone ever thought about something, something like that before? no and well maybe now the other companies will do the same based on the yonex technology so now we are coming to the uh enlarged frame top that's huge that's a thing that everyone actually noticed so when you look at the frame you can see that at the 10 o'clock and at the two o'clock it is a little bit different it is a little bit wider but the overall head shape looks smaller in this sense because when you add space when you made the frame wider in this place you need to take away some of the space anywhere else on the on the other on the other place of the head and I made a comparison directly when I uh, put these rackets over each of other 
each of the rackets over so you can see that the difference is quite big so what has changed is that in this two o'clock and uh, sorry in the two o'clock and ten o'clock it is wider but as you can as you can see on the lower part of the head the racket is actually uh, uh, thinner let's say the space here is thinner and you can see that and that's why overall the head of the new Scarlet looks smaller so if you also look at the throat the throat now the throat section the space here is bigger because the lower part of the head is uh, mo has, has moved a little bit up to compensate the wider space up here so you can see that the throat section is longer and that's why also the racket is a little bit more flexible and all these little changes uh, can lead to more spin and the overall more power and a different launch angle guys so according to Yonex uh, they widened the area the area here is widened of about 1.9 percent and this leads to more vertical launch angle so the ball launches more up high in the sky to to help you overcome the net with high deep shots and there has been an increase over the previous generation of about 2.7 percent so there is the info and <coughs> this this benefit is or you will benefit from a consistent high trajectory ball flight so uh, this leads to the increased top spin and vertical launch angle and the play testers at the tennis warehouse really said that you can feel that so even these almost three percent difference you can feel that and <coughs> this is what i was talking about uh, you change this it adds three percent you change this it adds two percent you change this it adds like 1.5 percent but if you have so many changes in the racket then at the end of the day you need to put all these percents actually together and you have like maybe 10 percent difference in in the, in the overall uh, playability in the overall feel in the overall power in the overall spin potential maybe even more because all of these changes they amplify each other so that's how it works so now we will go to the thinner beam okay the thinner beam where is it where is the thinner beam thing the thinner beam okay it's called the new frame shape the thinner beam so the beam is thinner i mean when you have the racket it's thinner like this not in the sense that it's thinner like this but it's thinner like this of about 2.3 percent in this area in the upper hoop so they thin the upper hoop overall so the beam is thinner okay what does it mean it adds to the more aerodynamic it will help you with a faster swing speed so the thinner beam allows for racket to easily cut through the air with minimal resistance and it results to faster swing for improved feel <coughs> and once again faster swing higher rpm better spin monster spin okay now the new throat design wow there's lots of things guys so the throat has been also changed the design of the throat so this section the lower section and this section has also been changed so <coughs> they once again cut out it a little bit more and they they changed uh it for a better stability so there is some info about that 
some of the part of the frame I mean this part and this part has been changed to a T shape and the lower part this big part has been changed to a H shape and it leads to a 3.4% of better stability and what does it mean so this design change uh, has a minimum uh, is there to minimal power loss at impact through efficient transfer of energy of course it when the record is more stable it transfers the energy better so the energy it the, the record gives more energy more free power and also distortion and resistance helps stabilize the record reducing the power loss and of course it also leads to a better overall control <coughs> so not only more power and more stability but also more control with this new throat design and basically that's it that's it and I will sum it up with some of the numbers that uh, were provided so these overall changes has improved the stringer snapback of about as I said of about 26.3 percent the beam width has improved the maneuverability of the racket of about 2.3 percent the frame width the extra frame width at the top of the hoop has improved <coughs> the ball contact of 1.9 percent and this is in comparison with the previous V core the launch angle for a greater top spin potential has increased of about 2.7%. And the racket torque resistance has increased about of 3.4% for <coughs> more stability. So guys, my throat is exhausted from, from talking about all these technologies I need to drink. So as you can see, these Japanese are super intelligent people. These manufacturers uh, who sleep probably with a V-Core racket or with a Yonex racket under, under, uh, under their bed, they really think about so many stuff that it's mind blowing. So the result is that the Scarlet, and I told you that at the beginning of the video, is the ultimate spin machine. Never ever has been there before a more spin friendly or more spin driven racket from Yonex ever before. So I believe that they just try to. Uh, once again bring the wider audience to the market of these records even juniors they don't they, they they are not they shouldn't be afraid of the 95 because it's only the head size that is maybe a little bit complicated but when you adjust to the head size when you adjust to the isometric head shape you will actually find out that the sweet spot is really bigger compared to the overhead shape it allows you to swing without worrying of hitting the ball with uh, with the frame and it allows you to swing more with a more clear head with a more clear mind so you don't really need to be a pro player to use the new scarlet and Guys, uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about these rackets? Is this the racket you have been waiting for? Or are you maybe disappointed, maybe by the design? Or did you expect uh, bigger changes in something? I believe you maybe expected uh, in the way that uh, 
not 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 all these changes are actually that promoted but when you when you see that when you see all the numbers what has really changed then you then you really realize that these small changes in in such a high uh, amount of changes this and that and this 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 can lead to a really big difference so the devil is in the detail as i'm saying always so guys uh let me know in the comments what do you think about the scarlet do you do you want to buy it it is your favorite record or are you waiting for the 98 or for the 100 uh these records i've been adding to our store in the czech republic they are releasing right now in, 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 in the 13th of 13th of January 13, 15, 16th of January, something like that. So <coughs> check them out in your in your favorite tennis store. And as always, <coughs> this was a little bit exhausting, guys. I need to be honest, but I wanted to make it exactly like that. And if you are patient enough, you will always get some extra info from me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this deep tennis racket comparison just click the thumbs up comment like share subscribe to my channel and as always you can support me by not only buying me the coffee the link is below in the description but you can support my channel with the super thanks button or by visiting and buying some stuff from my store where i have some merch from the tennis world so Guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, enjoy tennis, play tennis every time, every day. Don't forget to watch the Australian Open and always enjoy the maneuverability. Bye guys. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.